Well, what a great day. I mean, how many miles did we do? Five something? Yeah, it was about, uh, we took a little bit longer way in. It was about 520, 530. So 530 miles, Not we're bad. hanging out. We're at the palace. I mean, look at this steak. I mean, I got a nice little ribeye here. And uh, I'm gonna tell you about this ribeye. Yeah, tell me about it. Great flavor. Home cooking. Josh got a ribeye. I got, I got a ribeye. I got some gin right here. Okay. <laughs> so we've shown you this place before. Uh, we actually had a, a shot of the wall and stuff, but uh, we're back, we're eating. Uh, we did our 540 miles, and tomorrow we're gonna take the run down to uh, Mount Lemon and uh, go down and check that out. We look, it looks like there's a ski resort up there. Should be some great curves, get some great drone shots. We're super stoked for that. And maybe uh, Josh can zoom in on this table and see what we got going here. Yeah, come on in, Josh. You can stand up and walk around. And, and Josh, we have a Cougar fan over here, Washington State Cougs. What do we say? We say, go Cougs every time, right? Go Cougs. Whatever. Alyssa went to Washington State, so I'm a proud father of that alma mater. Proud dad. Proud dad. See you on down the road. Look at that. Hey, cowboy. Let's go. Get out. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, man. Thank you. Get out and stay out. Hey, man. What a long day in Prescott. Yeah, we're going to go Let's find go a to place bed. to sleep. City Hall, right? City Hall, man. Whoa. Whoa, lots yeah. of stairs. Yeah. Run, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this looks good right here. Right here. Oh. Good night, y'all. Yo, wake up. Oh. Whoa. Oh my God. What, what, what are you doing? Whoa. Did we all night here? Oh, oh God. Where's Josh? Let's find Josh. Oh. I think it's time for breakfast. Oh, what a sleep. Let's let's uh let's go find breakfast oh, and man, Josh. Yeah. Oh wow. That was cold last night. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a great day in the morning, right? I mean last night was crazy and fun. What's the plan today? Well I gotta tell you it was pretty cold up on those stairs. But uh, it I was. felt pretty warm in hotel. Oh, State you went over to the so hotel. <laughs> what can I say? We didn't make it there. We just couldn't find it. it is what it is. This is uh, coffee talk, right? That's right. Uh, we're here at the Lone Spur Cafe. Gonna grub it up, chug down some coffee, what plan was, our day. What was your your thoughts on where we're going? Well, we're gonna go to Mount Lemon, but this morning or last night, I don't know when Zach Odell messaged us and said we ought to go to the ghost town um, down outside of Phoenix it's about 137 miles out gotcha so it's only a couple hours down there he thought you might fit in with your hat <laughs> we should check it out I mean it's on the way to Mount Lemon anyway, yeah right so yep so down. we'll jet down this down. we'll jet down the 17 cut out in and uh, outside of Phoenix and it's around tortilla flats or something like yeah. that I mean, that's cool. I mean, it's really interesting to see different places like this in a state that we've been all over and then find out you really kind of haven't been all over. It's still oh, we haven't been see. all over. There's yeah. a lot more to see. Right. Especially for me. First time uh, kind of seeing yeah. all this stuff. So, What did you think of the town? Cool little town. I mean, the trees were lit up last night. We took a little cruise down the... Uh, Whiskey Row, get some bars up, and uh, check out Tortilla Flats and all that. So, well, what'd you I have got to one eat? question for you. Why didn't you rescue us last night? Look, they didn't want to get up. They didn't want to do it, and I'm not going to force it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I don't know. 
So should we? Uh, we're gonna have some bros. Should we go. cut him? <laughs> I mean, I froze. Yeah, my toes are still tingling. But anyway, yeah, you'll figure it out. So about an hour and a half will be a tortilla flats. Yeah, about two hours. Two hours. Yeah. And we'll get some gas this morning and go. We'll get some gas and go. Have some breakfast first. Get some lunch and tortilla flats and then head down. I think we'll get some great... haven't been there, but we were looking at pictures. There should be some great curves and mountains that we can run up to. All right, well, cool. Ski resort town. I'm hungry, boys. What do you got there, Josh? Biscuit, gravy, eggs, bacon, hash browns, a little coffee. Good to go. Be a happy camper. Sure. What do I you mean, got, LC? These, these eggs with this sauce are awesome. And I have bacon and eggs, man. And I'm feeling good right now. Some fruit. What do you got? I think we did the trifecta. Yeah. All my eggs are almost gone. Boy, they were delicious. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a nice morning, beautiful blue skies. I see some cows hanging out over there. Yeah, look at the calf. <laughs> where, where, where are we headed now? We just uh, jumped on the 89 out of Prescott. We are actually on Highway 69, uh, which is also the 17. Yeah. We'll be heading down to uh, the Phoenix area, the Tortilla Flat, just outside of Phoenix, there's a place called Tortilla Flats. I've heard of that before. I mean, I've never been there, so this is gonna be another uh, interesting uh, stop. Yeah, it should be. And then, you know, hopefully we get there in a good amount of time, take a couple of uh, shots, but get down to Mount Lemon, you know, and uh, check that place out. Right. Um, what's uh, the elevation that we're at right now? Yeah, we're sitting at about 47.85. Nice. So we're up there. It's a little chilly out. 53 degrees, not bad. It was, what was it, 30 this morning when we woke up? Yeah. We woke up on those concrete steps of the Civic Center in uh, Prescott. <laughs> Josh had to kick our foot to wake us up. Right? I wish he kicked our feet and woke us up the night before. So I, I believe this that we're in, and it's it's pretty vast, but it's called the Prescott Valley. Yes. Yeah, it's just outside of Prescott. And the, your way in and out. Uh, I was telling Josh back there we could turn uh, next time we come through there. We got to take him over to Jerome and uh, Sedona. Yeah, for sure. They they are must sees. I mean, I guess I guess we'll keep coming back. Yeah. Well, it's good riding weather. So. Yeah, and you know. Go ahead. It is a destination. I mean, if we have other destinations across the country, you kind of got to go through Arizona anyway. For sure. So hey. All right, well, let's, uh, what are you going to listen to on the way down there? Oh, you know me. I'm listening to the Highwaymen. All right, I think I'm going to throw on some Oak Ridge Boys for a little bit. All right, well, Oak it out, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Catch you in a little bit. All right, dude. So where are we right now? 
We are east of Phoenix. We are running down the uh, North Apache Trail, uh, the Arizona 88. We have never been here. And we are headed in the direction of the Tortilla Flats. And this guy's going to pull a wangdinger. Going to the arena. So check out those mountains up there. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. Big grouping just coming out of the ground with jagged edges everywhere. That's nice. Yeah. I just saw a bunch of bikes go through. I think we turn left up here at the stop sign. Gotcha. And then we'll head down into the uh, ghost town. Probably see if we can get off there, take a couple cool shots, get the drone out. I don't know. What do you think? I think that could be really cool. I mean, it, you know, look at these houses. And, and in the summer, it must be, what, 120 here? 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm told. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Yeah. Your, the shoes melt on the asphalt. But, uh, you know, it's interesting. You know, we've been all over, you know, Arizona, and here we are, another place we haven't seen. Right? Turning left, gents. Yes, we are. Our truck's going with us. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Sorry, man. Anyway. Look at all the cacti. There, there's some tall cactus out here. Aren't we? Are we near the Tonto National Forest, or uh, am I not in the right place? Not sure we're in the right place there with that one. Uh, this place probably looks really awesome in the sunset. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Well, anyway, we're going to a ghost town. You said we are headed to Ghost Town. It was actually Zach Odell had messaged us and said uh, we should try and stop by here. So here we are. Now, do we have to turn around and come back out, or are we passing through? Yeah, no, we got to come back down and then go south down towards Tucson to get to Mount Lemon, this old church out here. Lost Dutchman Museum. Oh, it's got a train museum as well. Wow. Yeah, I think this area is called Apache Land. I think I see the ghost town right up ahead. I think that could be it fellow biker. Yo. I see these uh, old looking buildings nestled on that little knoll right there to the left. Yep. We still have a few miles, but uh, could be it. You never know. Let's see what this sign says right here. Lost Dutchman State Park. I think these are called the Goldfield, Goldfield uh, Ghost Town. So this is the church, in, yeah, Goldfield Ghost Town. That's where we're headed. Is that it here, Goldfield? Well, let's check it out. This is it. Boom. Goldfield Ghost Town, 1893. Wow. Hey, thanks, Zach. This is a good find. Kind of like an oatman, isn't it? A little bit. See if we see any uh, mules running around here. Saloon parking, mine tour. Look at that. Isn't that just crazy? Yes. Well, let's park over here. Hey, two laners. Here we sit. Uh, Zach O'Dell sent us a note and said, hey, you should go check out this Goldfield mining town. It's an old ghost town. Um, a little history. It was established in 1893. Uh, it was named Goldfield, and then it changed its name to Youngsburg. Uh, and then the, the mine dried up. Um, it's got a narrow gauge railroad. It's the only one operating in Arizona. Uh, but the mine dried up and some private investors came back in to open this historic site and named, changed the name back to Goldsfield. Interesting. 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 I mean, the places you see. We're in Arizona. We're somewhere we've never been. Right. Here we are. There's this beautiful mountain here. And I see a lot of motorcycles going by, too. So. Yeah, I think if we were to go that way, we'd hit Tortilla Flats. Gotcha. Uh, and. I guess some of the roads are closed because it would take you all the way over to um, what's the lake, the Payson that we're out there by uh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt Lake area. Roosevelt, Roosevelt. So, but unfortunately it's closed, but we need to head that way because we got to go down to Mount Lemmon outside of Tucson. Which is perfect. So we have we have a destination, but uh, we, we've deferred from that and here we are. So we're going to check it out and then we'll hit the road. And I've got, you know, devices. Yeah. It's just super. <laughs> so we'll Let's see Let's go check this thing out. Yeah. Look at this place. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I didn't know it went this deep back in here. I think they, uh, I read somewhere that they do gunfights in the, in the street here. Really cool. Look yeah. at these cactus. 
<laughs> Bakery, tacos. Oop. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. And look at the, uh, you know, you got this view coming out of the, it's pretty cool. Museum right here. Uh, you're a scoundrel. Yeah. You're going to we jail. We got to jail. <laughs> Let's walk up to the end and see this church. Check this out. Replica of an old church. Looks like it's still active. I wonder if they do services here on Sunday. I don't know. I'll bet they do. You want to go we're catching up on some news, but we're here at the Goldfield Saloon. Okay, did you read about the trap miner? No, I didn't. We have to look into that. We're gonna have some lunch, and then we're gonna get on down the road. What is up, you two people? Yeah. Okay, four wheeler and scooter, and what do you got? Harley's. Harley Davidson. Harley's. 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 Iron horses. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time since I've been on Harley. What's the town like around here? Goldfield? Yeah. Oh, great little town. Yeah. Great little town. So it was changed to Youngsburg or something at some point? That was just uh, There was 5,000 people in here. Okay. This town was bigger than Phoenix was at one time. No way. When the gold mine was going on the Cold War. Yeah. Yeah, this town was bigger than... This This area had more people than Phoenix was. There was over 5,000. Yeah, it says right in... Uh, it says in one of these articles in here. If you want to take the time to read it. But yeah, they... Uh, all the all the gold mines are right here, and uh, yeah, it was it was huge. It had Goldfield and Youngsburg, and the blue gold mine was over here, and there were people stretched everywhere. Fantastic. You, know, you figure five thousand people out here mining. Right. You know this town, I think, it was stretched out towards what Bob rebuilt it because it all burned out. So Bob has rebuilt all this, you know. Yeah. A lot of history in this country. A lot of history. What's going on? You have your ears on? 10-4, Lost Dutchman State Park. Look at that. Isn't that just spectacular over there? Oh, look at this. Tonto National Forest. So we were close back there. Right. Um, yeah, so change of plans, I guess. We, uh, we'll still get down to uh, Mount Lemon, but I... You know, Zach uh, actually gave us a call. He saw you on the freeway. Yeah, he said he saw us on the freeway and called his wife and it was cool. And But he said it's really worth doing this ride. So we're this close. We might as well just do it and we'll change our plans. And this is just what happens when you're on the road and you're filming and you want to see cool stuff. Well, we've always said uh, that it's not about the uh, destination. It's about the journey. For sure. So wherever we uh, end up tonight, and we'll still make it to Mount Lemmon, I'm guessing, and uh, we might change up from there. I don't think we'll go to Mount Lemmon tonight. No, no, tomorrow I'm there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was listening to the train guy talking to, to the group of people they had on the train. I think these are Saguaro cactus. Yes, yes. And I think he said they live to be like 350 years old, and most of the ones in here tend to be around 150 years old. Gotcha. Pretty crazy. Yeah, and they're big too. You can see them in the in this footage right here. It's like, I mean, if we went and stood next to them, they tower over us. For sure. We got a guy up in front. He's got his uh, dual sport cruising. So I like this, you know, we're, we're actually like on a chill mode. We're, we're gonna see something different right now. Um, what the heck? Well, it is cool, man. Yeah, that guy's got a little solo ride going, huh? Yep. And we got four wheels in front of him. Yeah, but I guess right now he's actually with us. Okay. If you watch <laughs> this video, fine, sir. And uh, you know Tulane Life, give us a shout out. Yeah, maybe you'll recognize yourself. 
Because you are being filmed right now. Look at the rock structure. Yeah, look at that. That's some cool stuff right there. I'd really like to open her up through here. I know, but we did see a, a guy ride by and pat his head. Yeah, well, we go by so fast they don't even see us. <laughs> yep. But nice, nice run through here. Yes. Almost like the outside of Oatman coming in, you know, just the two lanes through uh, the desert. What is the uh, elevation here? I know we're, I know we're climbing. We're at uh, 2,129 feet above sea level. Uh huh. And it's about 75 degrees. We've taken off a couple layers today. Yeah, we got that beautiful two lane life t shirt showing there. I like that shirt. And Josh ought to just uh, ping us on the phone here, or uh, he is mic'd with us. He could tell us if he likes any drone shots through here. So Josh just responded, oh yeah, we'll get up here a little bit and see if we can get, get something around the snaky twisties. That's a, that's a term I've never heard, snaky twisties. Well, it's a snake with a twisty on it. Or is it just a rattlesnake curve? It's a stall coiled up and it rattles. Well, you're not a big fan of the term twisties, right? Uh, you know, I mean, it it works. It, it tells you what's going on, but we're not we're we're not really twisty. We're not twisting around these turns. We're flowing around them. I kind of I don't know. We're look how twisty I feel. Uh, this actually does remind me of Oatman right here. Yeah, it kind of does. Well, cool. Let's uh take a look at the the landscape here and if Josh calls us to stop we'll we'll do that and we are heading to tortilla 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 flats right just got to mess with you a little bit uh, there's also a spot just before tortilla flats uh, tortilla flats it is called Canyon Lake so we'll try to get a shot there all right man I will see you What the heck do you think about this lake, buddy? I think this lake is amazing. It's beautiful with its rock structure and just, it's just a cool lake. I don't think it's that big, but it really is uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, about 945 acres. So it's one of the four uh, lakes that actually part of the Salt River. Yes. And uh, you know that big one that we went by over uh, outside of Pace and Roosevelt? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's part, that's on this same river line. So the Salt River feeds a lot of lakes. Yeah, four of them. This is the third smallest of uh, all of them, though. And it looks like, uh, I think I read something over there that, uh, you know, they allow fishing, boating, so pretty cool. It's nice and cool in the shade, too. It was warm out there. For sure. We've seen a lot of bikes out here today on this road. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of husband and wife teams, you know? Yep. That's cool. Palo Verde. Palo Verde. Big old vet. Boom. So, yeah, we're trying to get into Tortilla Flats. I don't know what time these guys close down or not, but I'd love to have a beer and see what's over there. Yeah, look at that dock. Oh, another bridge. Uh, all right. Dang. Well, we got uh, we got some good footage of this. Boulder Creek. This one's actually cement. Right. 
So it looks like uh, we're here at Tortilla Flats, buddy. Two miles. Well, I'll be another interesting adventure journey that happened out of the blue. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we decided to come up here at uh, Zach's pushing, you know? Yeah. I shouldn't say pushing, maybe a recommendation. But he told me if we didn't go, he was going to stop following us. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. So we can't, we need all the followers we can get, Zach. Well, why isn't Zach with us right now? Yeah, I mean, you saw us on the freeway. Come on, buddy. I mean, he lives he lives right near here, doesn't he? Uh, I think they're in Chandler. So they were probably, that's a little ways away from here. You know, the people that follow us actually think that we're here so much that we should live here. Well, let's do it. We got a street bike. Yes, we do. Is that Josh? There's another Josh. Isn't that great? Josh has been with us for 10 months. He started off on a Yami, and he's got two Harleys in his garage. And he's got 11, 12,000 miles on his lowrider. He has 13,000 miles on that sucker. 13, that he bought in August. After he rode that, he didn't get the miles from Sturgis because he rode Rob's, but I think that gave him a little tickle to buy something. Right, it did. I mean, you can't go on these trips. Wow, look at the view behind us. Right. Whoa. Look at the view upcoming. There's a lot of power lines and stuff through here. Look at that valley, beautiful. Wow. Well, wait till you see the road back. I think uh, I see torti Tortilla. Why do I keep saying that? Tortilla Flats down below us. Well, maybe down in Tortilla Flats, you can get some tequila. I don't think that's gonna help with Tortilla. <laughs> Well, there it is, I see it. <laughs> there it is. Well, let's stop in there and have a conversation with some uh, some of the locals. Well, this is cool. This is uh, definitely has the Oatman vibe with the, the pinnacles of rocks jetting out and the shapes, the desert vibe. Um, definitely was mining going on here. Yeah, there were a bunch of mines as I, I think you're, the gentleman told us, uh, the big cowboy at the bar, the mining state it's, it's either silver or gold i think there's even uranium uh hey maybe we can stay here tonight <laughs> wouldn't that be grand look at these Woo! and we're only at 1700 feet above sea level so tortilla campground tortilla campground well let's pull in and take a look Why do you always have to start? Because then you can take you take the lead after that. <laughs> Yo, what's happening, two laners? We are at Tortilla Flats in Arizona. Not Tortilla. Tortilla. Tortilla, Tortilla Flat. Gotcha. Great bar, restaurant in Arizona. We're with Dale. What's going on? Tell us what's up. So, first of all, we're on the Apache Trail. Um, this was uh, a pathway that the stagecoaches used to come through the Superstition Mountains. And as I understand it, this is the last one of the stagecoach stops on that Apache Trail. And this town has six people in it, according to the last census that I heard. That is correct. Smallest town in Arizona. But we met Dale, uh, who actually is owning uh, this bar that we're in. And guess what? Daryl Oaks told us to go, a, or Zach Odell told us, told us to go a certain way. We changed. I think we're gonna change our route tomorrow. Dale, tell us a little bit about the bar and where you think we should go tomorrow. Uh, this place is, uh, it was an, uh, it's an original stagecoach town. It's been uh, in existence 138 years. Um, it is the last operating stagecoach town in the United States still. Wow. So uh, there are ones that are museums, but we're still operating the entire town. Wow. Uh, the general store all the way to the mercantile store. And uh, that's it, it's a, it's a great little town. It's fun, good food, and uh, good drinks. Well, so Dale's, Dale's part of a Supercross team too as well. And uh, he has another uh, restaurant bar down in Gilbert. Yes. And we're gonna go there. He said that if we go there now, he'll buy us the first round. I think it's that called the true. Union. 
It's called the Union. Yeah, <laughs> all I right. got the first round. That's true. <laughs> but also, where round. should we ride tomorrow? So tomorrow, I think the going out the 60 east towards New Mexico, you're going to cut up the Salt River Canyon. It's a it's a great ride all the way up north into Sholo, and uh, then you can cut across, go back uh, west towards uh, Payson, and, right, um, and then. Anywhere from there, from there, back south or north up to Winslow. And there. that probably sounds a little more like our vibe, right? Right. We're going right. to have to hit freeways all day tomorrow to get down to Mount Lemon. Now we're back on the two lanes. Now we get back into the country, and so we'll but do that. This is what happens on the road. We change, We have a destination, and we never end up at that spot. We always cruise all over the place, which is great. You know, we find well, and we meet new people. help change, too, right? Yeah, free yeah. Free drinks makes you change yeah, your direction. Yeah, uh, <laughs> why not? So, hey. Always uh, something interesting happening, you know? Thanks uh, for your hospitality. Great meeting you. We'll see you down at the place tonight. I'll see you there. All right. So we'll we'll see see you down down the road. road. Who knows where we're going? So, God, how exciting is this stuff, you know? I think I even said Daryl Oaks. That's a guy that we know in Texas. So, uh, Zach O'Dell, you know, pretty ironic that we run into stuff like this. I, it's just, I want to knock on wood because we've been so lucky the last 10 months with our timing on things. Right. Well, this is really great. I mean, we had a plan, and the plan is being changed as we speak, and... We might be riding on the Salt River tomorrow, which is going to be something epic. Again, we've never been there. Yeah, and uh, to meet Dale and just, you know, it's like hometown people. He's uh, got a lot of cool business uh, ventures going on and just, wow, the hospitality that we get at these places, you know? Yeah, and it's... uh, he has a supercross team which is interesting and he has some riders that my son used to hang out with so this is kind of cool yeah got these how many what did they say 147 turns 147 i don't know if he's counted them or you've counted them i have not i have not either and i probably won't because we're always so busy doing other things while we're riding but that bat almost took you out I know, the bat got in my face. Something just ran across the road, too. (laughs) (laughs) I may have to go by you in a second. No. You can go by me. Yeah, you're funny. No, because you should go by me. You're the the trip leader, man. (laughs) Go ahead, I'm giving giving you the love, man. Go, baby, go. Yeah. I like following you, anyway. And here's the slip, the slippery bridge, boys. What are you stopping for? Oh, sh- it's a one-way, guys. Come on. Yo, yo. This is some uh, cool stuff right here. Not bad. Look down at the boat down below. Guys are night fishing. Yep. Wow. The moon's out. We're crossing bridges. So pretty good stuff, man. Awesome stuff. How are we lined up behind? What? How are we lined up behind? Is Jaybird behind you? Jaybird, he's right behind you. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, be careful, man. Yeah, you got to watch that with these uh, great 11,000 mile tires. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we need our new tires on as soon as we get back. <laughs> See you down the road. All right, we'll see you.